So why is the area of this sector, S of theta, equal to theta times r squared over 2, which is right here? Well, what we've shown is this inequality here. But also, see, 1 plus epsilon is bigger than 1, and so this thing is smaller than r squared over 2 times theta, and that's smaller than this thing. So that tells you that if you look at the area that you're looking for and this formula here, the distance between them is smaller than the difference between these endpoints. You see these are just endpoints of an interval and both this one and this one are in that interval. So therefore they're closer together than the length of the interval. So I take the length of the interval and simplify and I get this. Now this is true for any epsilon bigger than zero. And you can see that if you make epsilon really, really small, this can be made as small as you like. Therefore, the distance between these two expressions, the area and this formula, the distance between them is smaller than any positive number that you care to pick. That means the two must be equal. Now this is a rather typical way of showing numbers are equal in calculus. You often show that their distance is smaller than any positive number that you care to pick.